So I often get asked, how do you become a better photographer? So probably the first piece of advice I would give folks is actually quite simple. It has nothing to do with gear or about, I mean, it has something to do with photography, but it's not about act the actual action of taking pictures. Uh, it's to bring a notepad along. I have found that it's easier for me to organize my thoughts and to say revisit a location at a later date if I already got stuff jotted down. I mean, you can use your note app in your phone, uh, but for me personally, I like little physical uh, something to actually write on. I really do live in a beautiful area. I don't think I actually appreciated it until I started doing this. Started taking pictures and actually paying attention to my surroundings. To plan out your scene a little bit better. Pretty sure my brother used to bring me here when I was little. And I didn't really like it. I mean, I liked going with him, I should say, but I was always really scared of heights. And so I didn't like, <laughs> I guess I just didn't like climbing this very narrow staircase. Another piece of advice that I give folks is just look, embrace your surroundings. Um, it's easy to get wrapped up on YouTube videos and see a lot of people where they're. A lot of the travel photographers are out in old, fancy cities, exploring large mountainscapes and stuff like that. So it's easy, frankly, and I'm guilty of this as well, is kind of getting, I want to say jealous. You almost think where you grew up and what's in your immediate area isn't good enough. But I finally got past that. So, for example, my house about a 10-minute radius. I got two state parks, multiple beaches. Obviously, I live in a rural area, so there's a lot of farmland, a lot of open space. And I learned to just really embrace what's around me. Look, nature's beautiful, whether it's a mountain or fields or the beach or water, lakes, whatever. If you're looking to become a better photographer, just take advantage of what you got. This is something I had actually also mentioned in was it a previous video I made? One of the videos I made. I'll I'll link it here. Invest in vintage lenses. They really make you learn manual focus. And they can give a pretty unique perspective on pretty unique picture sometimes God, that's so good the best and biggest and probably most important piece of advice I can give folks who are looking to improve their photography just to go out and shoot. Find time pretty much every day, when you can, obviously. Um, and it doesn't have to be long. Look, there's only like a 30 to 45 minute window that I have from when I drop my daughter off at preschool. Everything you're seeing in this video was over the span of like 30 minutes. Just get out, take pictures. It doesn't matter where you live. There's always something that's picture worthy, right? That you can take a good photo of. I don't really subscribe to the idea that you need the best gear possible. Obviously, you probably want to invest in some decent lenses, but I mean, look, when you consider the fact that some of the best photographs that have ever been taken in history have been taken by photographers from 50 years ago, they didn't have these fancy mirrorless cameras and crazy 70 to 200 
fast zoom lenses and things of that nature. I mean, a lot of them just had a 50 mil prime old film camera, right? Couldn't even see if the picture that you were taking was any good until you had it developed. Anyway, enough of my uh, ranting and raving. I guess the moral of the story, just go out more and take more photos and you'll become a better photographer. Mm -hmm.